Hi, I'm Brian Freer, tutoring high school biology. Today's topic, echinoderms, what we believe is the next evolutionary step up from arthropods. What's an echinoderm? Well, the word means spiny skin, and in fact, many of them have a spiny skin. How close are we to them? Well, you may actually have a few in your house sitting around. Things like sea stars, sand dollars, brittle stars. These are all echinoderms. Alright, now the coolest thing is they evolved finally the endoskeleton, the skeleton that is on the inside of the body. The other thing a lot of them have is radial symmetry. That just means if you spin them around, then at one point or another, it'll look the exact same as it was originally. But the coolest thing is probably the water vascular system. This is the thing that does circulation, it does a lot of respiration, a lot of material transport. And let's take a look. Here I have a sea star. Okay, it doesn't look too much like a sea star, but you can tell it looks like one. All right, and the water vascular system is got this large ring in the center. It opens out to this thing called the madrepore, right? It's just an opening to the outside, not too much to worry about. And what the water vascular system looks like, it's got a bunch of canals leading out into each of the arms that pumps water in and out. This can move materials around, but it also does this neat thing in that it controls the tube feet. If you look on any sea stars on your side, you'll find out that it has a bunch of suckers, those we call tube feet. And the water pressure that the vascular system creates can actually allow it to stick to things, to move, and in some cases pry open clamshells and thereby get food. Aside from that, echinoderms have sexes and will pr produce offspring externally. Alright, to recap. Echinoderm means spiny skin, and many have a spiny skin, but they also have the endoskeleton, which is a skeleton on the inside of the body. Many of them will also have radial symmetry, that means if you spin it at one point or another, it'll look the same as if you hadn't spun it. Echinoderms mostly use something called the water vascular system to have circulation, respiration, and to some extent movement. For instance, in sea stars, there is a large radial center that has canals leading out to each of the legs. These canals are part of the water vascular system and allow the two feet to stick to things. Also allows transportation materials and circulation and respiration. The opening to the outside is the madreporite. Reproduction in echinoderms is performed externally and echinoderms have sexes. Alright, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Freer. See you next time.